why this gentleman is so worried with the culture <laughs> it's because of his father, I think. His father did a fantastic job in Romania, in Belgium, in Uruguay, everywhere where his father, when he was an ambassador of Brazil, he did a fantastic job for all the cultural causes around Brazil and to get a big integration between the two countries. Well, the program tonight, first half, I am going to have a Vivarde concerto with only almost uh, 20 musicians on stage. And this concerto by Vivaldi, it's a concerto for four violins. And we are going to have the greatest Brazilian violinist by the name of Elisa Fukuda. And she will have two of his, her ex-students. Today they are fantastic violinists. And a 12 years old boy, uh, this boy was, in, he was introduced to me two years ago. When I saw his talent, I, I gave him an, an scholarship. And uh, today he is making his American debut. And Sunday he will make his New York debut at Lincoln Center when we are going to repeat this same program. The Vivaldi Concerto. After the Vivaldi Concerto, we are going to have the Orchestra of Suite No. 3 by Johann Sebastian Bach. This Orchestra of Suite has a big overture. Then the very famous area for the G string, this ta ra 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 di ra ra wa ta And then we are going to have three Baroque dances, a gavotte, a bourre, and a jig. This orchestral suite uh, introduced music to the big symphonies by the classicism, Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven, then all the big symphonies that we have uh, because of this orchestral suite. is the first suite with the grandeur. And on the second half, we are going to have a fantastic singer, a young boy. Uh, this young boy, we very, <coughs> he lived in a very really underprivileged area. And uh, he was introduced to me two years ago, too. And I gave him a scholarship. And uh, this year, he already studied for six months at La Scala di Milan. Hmm. And uh, he already sang an opera in Milan. And uh, he will do his American debut here and in New York too this coming Sunday. And finally, we are going to have Villa Lobos, Guerra Peixe, and Matheus Araújo, three Villa Lobos, the greatest Brazilian composer. And then the biggest popular event in the world is the Brazilian Carnival. And the Brazilian Carnival uh, calls the attention everywhere in the world. And this year, one, they have uh, in Sao Paulo 14 schools of samba. It's a big parade. It, it's two days. Each school, uh, they come to the avenue with 5,000 people, with a store of something. Can be the store of Babylonia, can be the story of Cleopatra, and one of the schools selected the story of my life. 
and they won the carnival of 2011. <laughs> it was a big thing. Yeah, it was fantastic. They, they wrote the theme uh, the, of the, the song, and all 5,000 people singing the song that they wrote wow. about, an original song about his life, yeah, and the different, the different floats were, were themes about his life, and Johann Sebastian Bach as yes. well, wow. a large float dedicated to Bach. So there was samba and classical music together. A, in the carnival together. So. And uh, this uh, school of samba, when we came to, in the avenue for the parade, it's something like 30 or 40,000 people on the parade, but 100 million people on TV. <laughs> you cannot imagine. Yeah. And we won the carnival. So I decided to invite 10 rhythmists, percussionists from the school of samba to join our orchestra. And we are going to show how the Africans, when they were slaves in Brazil, even so, they were the people who made the Brazilian recent. So we should be proud of, of them to be in Brazil. And now we are going to introduce Vila Lobos, Galapeja, and Matheus Araújo with the African rhythms they brought to Brazil in respect for them. This is the reason we invite the 10 percussionists from this school of samba and uh, the last music <coughs> will be exactly the music from the carnival. Wow. The last wow. Wow. And I think it's a fantastic uh, repertoire and I used to be a concert pianist all my life. But because of a terrible mugging in Bulgaria, I lost both hands for the piano. So I started a new life at the age of 64. And uh, I am 71 and, uh, as a conductor. And uh, from in these last seven years, almost 1,000 concerts in the most important theaters in Brazil, in some of the important theaters in the world. But we go to ever, ever each underprivileged area in São Paulo to show music for people who never would have the opportunity to hear classical music. And today we are taking care of 2,200 underprivileged children uh, in Brazil with our foundation. And uh, this is the reason why we are very proud to bring two of them here to the stage uh, in, my, in Fort Lauderdale and uh, Sunday in yeah. New York. Uh, I would not say that they are from a favela. They are not from a favela, but they would never had the opportunity, have the opportunity to study classical music. Right. And we feel very proud to bring them to this count. That's fantastic. Maestro, I wanted to ask you, you know, you're playing several Villanobos selections tonight, and several things that you've mentioned, I mean, you have a lot in common with Villalobos, your love for Bach and love for Brazil, you know, very patriotic uh, projects and, and feelings. He was very much involved with bringing music to the masses and, and the projects he had with, uh, with President Vargas at, at, at the time. And you seem to be continuing some of that work and, and 